Well, this is 01-01. Uh, let's call this uh, Hell in a Handbasket, because one's got a no-shoot, one dude's upside down. So you got one target with a no-shoot up to the letter A, 10 yards away, two steel stacked behind each other at 10 yards, and then upside down target next to it. Standing in the box, wrists above shoulders, upon start signal, engage all the targets. What do you name this guy? The maze. Fury maze. Fury maze one, because we're asking Fury mazes. Fury maze. Fury maze one. So this one is kind of challenging in the range, all right? We have a shoot through here. So the way you deal with shoot throughs is you gotta make sure you can see the grease rings here. And if you're a good RO, you know what's going on. And we're shooting through a wall, which it's perforated, that's fine. Start signal will be, or the start position's right here. Wrist blow, belt, handgun loaded and holstered. We got one target here with a no shoot at six yards. Come around to keep people from engaging the targets down range. We have a wall here. We got a shoot box here. You must be in the shoot box because we must shoot you know, linearly, we don't want people shooting in the wall. We got a steel at 10 yards, a paper at 8 yards, and two more papers stacked to each, next to each other. Kind of goofy. Just to change it up a little bit. Of course, my camera doesn't want to focus, which is pretty typical. We've closed off the shooting area here. We got the last fault line over there, so you must retreat. Come back around the wall. We have a hard cover and a steel at 10 yards. And then we give the shooters an option to shoot those at a closer distance, but we have a no shoot in the way. So kind of fun, again, just to mix it up a little bit. We do have a target here and a target there where you can shoot in the wall. That's something we might have to address. Um, like I said, at the outset of this, if we had ballistic panels, that would make this a lot easier. So there you go. All right, there are three range commands. The first one is the make ready. The shooter may inspect their firearm, dry fire, what have you, pull from the holster, make sure all the gear is set up and ready to go. Uh, are you ready? Which you can say yes or no. If you don't say no, it means you're ready. Stand by and then you'll hear the buzzer. So I'm gonna make the first call, make ready. Like I said, shooter will inspect their firearm. Make sure their dot's on if they have a dot, stuff like that. Load the firearm if the course of fire says so. And then once the gun is holstered and the shooter has ceased moving, I will continue with the second range call. This is the shooter's time, there really isn't a time limit here but for sake of courtesy I usually take two minutes or less which two minutes is a long time anyway start position wrist above shoulders shooter are you ready stand by shooter why didn't you shoot the steel <laughs> total time was 977 wow <laughs> what a guy Scoring is pretty simple. He actually gave us a really good one right off the bat here. So the scoring ring is actually the grease ring. And this is about as close you can get to the perf and get the A as you can. Since it is tangent to the perf, that grease ring gives him the alpha score, which is five points. And then he has one Charlie, which is two points. I made this one upside down because people get confused because the A zone, if you can see, it's actually biased to the bottom of the target. He nailed it, obviously, two shots there. And then he wasted about four seconds for <laughs> not shooting the steel. 977, alpha, Charlie, two alpha, all steel. That's not a very good hit factor. We'll let him shoot it again. The other thing the shooter did that he's really good at is he did not give let me give him the fourth range call, which is the unload and show clear. We did that off camera. Way to go, shooter. You've already been disqualified. <laughs> Make ready. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Make sure finish, unload and show clear. They have clear hammer down and holster. Range is clear, time is 539. Got two alpha there, two alpha there again. So that's much better. That's a way better hit factor. Shooter, go ahead and load and make ready. Man, not having the sun, having a really dull fiber, not a fan. 
And I'm running my junk reload, so we'll see if I have any malfunctions. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? That's not a range call. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, I'm loud and sure clear. I see clear. Range clear. 498. I couldn't see my sights fit too, Charlie. Too alpha was the time. 498. All righty, shooter, load and make ready. I'm running my 10 round production stuff, so I'll just have to take a reload. This is only a 14 round course of fire, so most people don't have to reload, but I'm actually going to have to reload here. We could Three, cause a reload. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, unload is so clear. I see clear. Number down holster. Range is clear. 1590. This is slippery floor. Got two, two alphas, alpha, two, two alpha, alphas, two alphas, two alphas. Two alphas. That's, that is a Charlie, barely. <laughs> I just barely got a Charlie there. Two alphas. I can't see my sights for crap in here. This sucks. I bet these are Charlie's. Uh, Alpha Charlie. Alpha Charlie. That wasn't terrible. Meg, ready? Ready. <laughs> I, I can't take this kid anywhere. <laughs> Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. And load so clear. The clear hammer down and holster 1963. Keep dripping. One Charlie? One Charlie. One Charlie. Oh, that. that. <laughs> Somebody's flirting with the, flirting with the no shoot. <laughs> Alright, so let's go calculate that so people know how to score this. Alright, so for this course of fire, the time was 1963. And the name of the game is how many points can you get per second. So alphas are five, Charlie's are three, deltas are one, right? Um, we had 13 alphas and one Charlie. So 13 times five equals 65 plus three. He had 68 points. And you'd 68 divided by 1963 equals... So his hit factor score for that was 3.46. I ran it in 1590, which is three and a half seconds faster, and I had 12 alphas and two Charlies. So we have 60 plus six, so I got I only got 66 points. However, 66 divided by 15.90 is gonna be closer to four and a half. So that's a 4.15. So for that stage, I won, I got two less points, but I did it in almost four seconds faster. And like I said, the whole point of this game in hit factor scoring is how many points you can get per second. And obviously, missing makes you really slow, <laughs> so that doesn't help, but that's the whole name of the game. Hit factor scoring, in a nutshell, how many points can you get per second? That's your hit factor. I got that many points, that time, that's my hit factor score. So I beat you by over half a hit factor. The so minus three? You, you got 3.46. I got 4.15. So you want more? It's how many points you can get per second. Every stage is different, and that's the beauty of the sport, is you got to figure out the stage, how fast can you move versus how quickly can you get the alphas. Because normally in USPSA, if you have a 40 cal or 9 millimeter major or 38 super, your scoring works like this.
I think it's 542. So if you shoot a hotter round, you get more points. But since we're doing outlaw and this is just a starter league, we're not going to do higher hit factor scoring. We're going to run with the low hit factor scoring. Because so most people run 9 millimeters anyway. So again, running an indoor match can be a giant challenge. You just have to be clever. This is what we figured out as we stand here looking at it. For our third fourth course of fire, we want a big field course. So we're going to start at the end of our last stage. We have a start box here. Engage the tuxedo, the popper, and that guy. You got to retreat back to where we started for this stand and deliver style stage. Engage everything here, and then come over to the window. And now you got some really tough shots at 25 yards. Well, it's more like 20 yards since we're forward a little bit. But now we've got all of that to shoot as well. And I think I might put another target out there. I don't know yet. So for this course of fire, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I need to, I need to add a target somewhere. So we'll add a target and then shoot it. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, I'm loaded, so clear. I see clear, him down, holster. Range is clear. Time. 2342. Yep, so this one. Five seconds. In USPSA, we have an alpha. Since this didn't break through the perf, that doesn't count. That's kind of the challenging thing about this target array is it technically would be an alpha, but if, if it's a. It would have a, to be on this side of the. Obstructed target, it has to break through the perf here. So I actually get minus five points for the miss. And this one's an Alpha Charlie. Make ready. Relax the sides. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Finish and load show clear. Let's clear, hand it down, holster. Range is clear, two, three, seven, eight. So the last course of fire will read as such. Targets one, two, and three, T1, T2, T3. This is a Virginia count course of fire, meaning there are no makeup shots. Every makeup shot is a penalty. You start on the target on the right. T3 engage with one shot. T2 engage with two shots. T1 engage with three shots. Perform a mandatory reload and engage T3 with four shots. Again, Virginia count dictates that you can only have the allotted amount of shots per the written stage breathe. Every other shot is either an extra shot or an extra hit. Shooter, load make ready. So this one, we have to dictate that you must start in the far right side of the box because you want to shoot straight down the lane, not into the wall. One, one, two, one, two, three, reload. One, two, three, four. That's a, that's a good start right there. When your reload doesn't go into battery, that's a, way, that's a really good way to start a stage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only need six guns. Okay. Let's go. Shooter, are you ready? My hand's still on my gun, sir. One, two, three, reload, four. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, I'm letting show clear. I see clear. Hammer down holster. Range is clear. So we have one alpha, three Charlies, and you can see my miss right here. I called that shot. Can't make it up, otherwise it's a penalty. We've got alpha Charlie, two alpha, one Charlie. So this is going to be a fun one to score. So this is just a miss. That sucks. So we got 
Three times three is nine. One alpha and a mic, so those negate each other. We got nine on the first target. Alpha Charlie is five plus three, that's eight. Last target, we have two alpha, one Charlie, so that's <clears throat> 13. Add them up, 13 plus 17 is 30. 30 divided by the time is 4.31 hit factor. H, F, that stinks. Make ready. 24 hours later. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. If you're finished, unload and show clear. If clear, hammer down and holster. Range is clear. Time one zero five two. We have four alpha, one Charlie, two alpha, three alpha. Very good. Those red dots are easy. There are his hits, and again, he beat me on the other stage because I had a miss. If you get all your hits in a decent amount of time, hit factor was 5.51. I ran it almost five seconds faster, but I did get a miss. You lose those five points, my hit factor is 4.31. So that's the name of the game is hit factor scoring. But you're in a different division because you got a dot. I got wheel of iron sights. So that's, that's the fairness of this league that we're going to run. We're not running USPSA, but we're going to have... Iron side pistol, red dot pistol, cheater division, PCCs and 2011s, and then we got a 22 division for those of you folks who are a little recoil shy. We want you all to shoot, so there you go, hit factor scoring.